<laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> hey guys, uh, welcome to Mudlarks Part 2. Um, to be honest, I never really thought. I never really thought, thought, thought. What the fuck? I never really did. <laughs> Redo. <laughs> I never really thought that this was gonna be a long game. I thought it was just, I, you know, a short little game I could complete in just one video, but I was wrong. I don't think it has much to say. <laughs> Sorry. There's nothing under there. We used to store some things there. We used to store some things there. Then they got all moldy. So not anymore. Chair. You don't feel like sitting down. That's cool. Oh. Treasure box. Full of clay pipes. Or something. What? I wouldn't want to break it. Sure. Uh, it's too cold. Fish. I've always had a thing against people who tap on the glass of fish tanks. It disturbs the fish. Yeah, it probably does. Talk to it. Look at it. It's my dear fish, Nippy. I've had him for about ten years now. Nothing more soothing than sitting and watching this little chap swim around in his leafy surroundings. Leafy. <laughs> Talk to it. Hello, Nippy. Cool. Do I look down there? How about in the last one? It's locked. So now I gotta find keys. I can smell it from here. And it's not pretty. The laundry can wait, sure. There's nothing of note in here. Banana peels and used tissues. Oh, sure. Sure, used tissues. I don't really see a laptop, so. Do you really not have a computer? I don't think she would appreciate me rummaging around in her back. Oh well, let's have a look then. <laughs> okay. Water bottles make up and a small selection of coins. She won't mind if I borrow a couple of pounds. Oh yeah, I can... I have things. Oyster. Clay pipe. Muffin. Coins. Probably gotta use coins in some machine or something. Wait, so if I... I... Okay. Oh yeah, I can do this. Okay, I got it. I got it. Um... I don't feel like a cup of tea. No, that would be a really weird feeling. Feeling like a cup of tea. I've never felt like a cup of tea. Have you? That's gotta feel weird. Uh, I feel like someone's drinking me. 
Uh, there's probably more bacteria growing in there than there are people in the whole of London. Sure. Dirty sheets. Okay. The bookshelf. Okay. Whole ground. How ground? How? What? I try not to carry him around too much at my age. I don't know what it is. People give me strange looks. What is it? Bad. You don't feel like going to bed. You already read it. Crosswords. Let's get some music. No? I... Am I supposed to find it in here? Herp. Herb de derp. Died. Have I checked everything? K pop. <laughs> K pop. Okay, okay. Walk, then. Walk around. Maybe I'm just... Do I gotta use something? I don't see how this would work. Um... There's a book. I should probably take this back to the library. Not right now. You're gonna get a fine. That's gonna be expensive. You better do it. In time, nonetheless. Um... I don't know. I am already lost. Um, there's no metal detector. I looked in all of these, right? Whee! Locked. Look inside. Let's have... Oh! Oh! I see a key. Pretty sure that's the key. To take it. Take it. Here it is. Yeah, we already... Lori really outdoes herself with these security measures. I think that was just a fail or something. Maybe it just... I don't know. That's a weird place to hide it. Um, broken keramics. Shark tooth. Do you want any of this? Sure. It's just for show. That's cool. Let's get the key. Let's open the drawer. Let's get that metal detector. It's bound to be in here. Here it is, my metal detector. I'm not entirely sure why this was locked in the valuable drawer. It only cost 10... What's that pound? 10 pounds. I don't actually know how much that is. I know a dollar is about five Danish 
kroner and a euro is about seven and a half I don't know how much a pound is hmm I'll find out it certainly is useful though Vincent and I have found a few old coins using this down on the Thames cool let's go go You walk so awkwardly. And... There. Hi. Oh, is that a train? After a surprisingly smooth tube journey. Oh, okay. Door. The door is locked. Are you coming over to me? Take it. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, let's go up, I guess. Hey, dude. Hey. 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 You're blind. Hi. Hey, man. V Vinny, I guess. Good timing. I just got here. Yeah. I took the tube. The YouTube. Woo! No dramas on the North Airline today. That makes a change. I bet it does. I've been in some of these weird trains and there's weird people and it's always something going on anyway are you okay you look a little tired I'm okay just didn't get much sleep last night and Vincent looks a bit wary and almost troubled I'll ask him when we get to the shore did you bring along the mill detector? Sure I did. Come on, dude. You don't trust me with memory and stuff? Sure did. Despite Laurie locking it away, I managed to find it. <laughs> that girl. Let's put this baby to use, then. Let's see if we can uncover something else. This locket is the real deal. I really hope there's nothing else there. Wait, no. No. God. Stupid. I really hope there is something else there. The chain. Or even more lockets. My phone is ringing. Shit. My phone is ringing. It's probably Laurie. Just go ahead. And I'll meet you down there. Bitches. <laughs> okay, man. See you in a bit. Let's find some treasure, bitches. Yeah. Hello? Hey. Just giving you a quick call to say I'll be late home tonight. Drinks with the girls after work. Oh. No worries. I'll probably head out with Vince for a few beers after we finish mutt-larking anyway. Cool. Well, have a good time. Thanks. You too. I hope you find some treasure. Me too. See you later. Alligator. Bye-bye. Cool. Okay. Better catch up with Vincent. Let's do it. Is, is. Oh, come on, you can't electrocute yourself on the outside. I think they're built so that you can touch them without dying. But I am not sure. Elka, what? 
What is this? What is it? I don't know what it is. It's just a hole or something. Huh. Where has he got to? Where's he gotten to? Where? Yeah, whatever. I'll call him on his mobile. He's just gone. That's spooky. It's gone straight to voicemail. Perhaps he's out of battery or something. Oh well, he must be around here somewhere. That's odd. Well, he found he found the thing right here. Right? Use it. If he's down here, and you couldn't see him, okay, he's not. Walking on the water. No. No. He's gone. Here he is. Oh no, that's just the cursor. Ha 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 ha. So funny. Um, what do I do? Do I do stuff? Oh, I can go further. Um, think there's nothing here except myself. Uh, nope. Let's go, go, go. Hey, Vini. Hey, Vince. Sounds like the mafia names. What? Water Edge. think nothing's here. Let's go to the edge of the water. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's neat. There's something there. I want it. Take it. God knows how long this has been tossing about in the water. What? But it's the muttlarker's way to grasp these opportunities for free glitter. Laurie might want it. What is it? Looks good as new. Hmm. Okay. Uh... There's the shoe. Take it. You don't want it. You don't want a perfectly fine shoe. You got long feet. Let's go. Exit. You can't do anything with the exit. Go. Let's go further. How far away would he go? He is just... Not here. Either. This is weird. I saw him going through the entrance to the foreshore. For sure. To the foreshore. For sure. I was just... Making it joke. 
Never mind. There is no way we could have passed each other. The way into the foreshore is also the only way out. Although this kind of looks like a way out, but whatever. I better try his number again. Voicemail again. Vincent! Vince? Where the fuck are you? I really can't work out where he has gone to. Gone. He seems to have completely disappeared. Perhaps there's a way off the beach that I didn't know about. But why would he take it without you knowing? Oh, what? Hey, dude. What? Good morning. Hi there. You look like a doctor or something. So, okay, sure, scientist. This man looks like a scientist. I wonder what he's doing here. I should ask him if he's seen Vincent. Excuse me. May I have a word? Sorry, but you shouldn't be down here on the foreshore. Why not? Please leave now. It's not safe here. Then why are you here? I am simply having a quiet moment away from my colleagues as I attempt to eat my breakfast. This rather disappointing flapjack. Hmm. Maybe I can get more out of him. With a little food bribe. Do you want a muffin? <laughs> Do you want a muffin? I've been having it in my in my pocket this whole time. <laughs> blueberry. I love blueberry muffins. Are you sure you don't want it? Here, take it. Why, thank you. What a kind young man. For that, I will give you a few minutes of my time. But you really must leave soon. Wow. You look like a demon while you eat. Vincent. Have you seen a man passing by here? My friend Vincent appears to have disappeared. <laughs> Appear to have disappeared. Yeah, that's funny. And not really, but... That's, oh, never mind. He must have passed... He must have passed you on your way here. I'm afraid that I haven't seen a young man. Anyone, young man. Sorry. Are you sure? About six... If he's not seen anyone, it doesn't help to describe him. I'm just saying. Oh. A man who's six feet and brown hair and a beard and thirty-ish? Oh, well, I'm sorry I said I'd seen no one because I've seen the exact description you just came with. Uh, I don't know. I'm just... Fuck. I'm so weird today. <sighs> okay. I certainly haven't seen him. He can't just disappear. I think I read that wrong, but never mind. I'm not very familiar with this stretch of the Thames. Perhaps your friend has left the shore via another exit, even though it doesn't really make sense that he would leave. There's only one exit, the way you must have come in. Then I'm afraid I really can't help you, my dear sir. My colleagues are further down the shore. Perhaps you can ask them. But I can swear I haven't seen anything. I would not lie to a man who has so generously given me his blueberry muffin. Hmm. Why must I leave the shore? You serious? Of course I'm serious. I come here every week. 
and no one has ever told me to leave before. Let alone a man who appears to be some sort of scientist. Haven't you heard about the meteor shower? No. Unbelievable how the youth today, youth of today, can be completely oblivious to major events going on around them. Huh? <sighs> I had spent the last two days in a hungover something word glued to watching DVDs as I recovered from a big night out with Laurie and her and our friends. Two days ago, around 6 p.m., a meteorite shower of a very clustered and confined nature landed about 100 miles upstream in the river Thames. Come to think of it, I did see a shooting star around that time. Yeah, you did. That's right. Huh. Precisely. Who are you? My name is Dunk. Headley Dunk. <laughs> That's a cool name. What are you doing here? You're probably here to investigate, maybe. What are you doing here? I work for Yukasa. And we are conducting tests around the recent meteor shower, as I have told you. It really is not safe for you to be here. How is it safe for you to be here? I am a trained man. I know exactly what to do in the event of a head all incident and have the equipment to save my life. I have a white coat. You, on the other hand, do not. What is Ukasa? The United Kingdom Aronic... Uh, Ar I run aeronautics is that true is that right the United Kingdom aeronautics and space agency Wow I guess we better ask why does a meteor landing in the Thames mean that I have to leave the shore there was something strange about the meteor shower. Strange. It was not picked up on any satellite equipment or interstellar object trackers and communication networks have been erratic ever since. This must be why I can't get through to him. Are meteors usually picked up by these object trackers and satellites? Certainly. That's why he said it. Duh. But these are not the only strange things about this shower. What else has happened? What on earth is going on? Since it landed, there have been reports of length and breathe, 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 breathe of the Thames of massive tit tittle fluctuations There's so many new words freak tides that have been sweeping people away in moments of sudden ferocity oh no has this happened to Vincent we must get someone out there to search for him I'm afraid that won't be possible no direct contact is allowed with the water for fear of contamination. I mean, you were, you were pretty close to the water. You, you're lucky, huh? Contamination? But my friend could be in there somewhere, drowned. Our initial readings upon arriving here a few minutes ago seem to indicate that any tidal occurrences are unlikely to have happened here in the last couple of hours. So, you're 
saying that Vincent is safe. All I can say is I haven't seen your friend. I really hope this is all a major exaggeration. Surely I would have seen this title, 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 occurrence, or heard Vincent struggling if this had had had. I need something to drink, but I don't have anything. If this had have happened, had had happened, he was only a minute ahead of me. He was only. I. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I read like a retard. But this is very, very strange indeed. What is this contamination you speak of? The water has been acting very strangely since the impact. We need to conduct further tests. <laughs> test before I can confirm the nature of the contamination. Is it serious? Initial test on meteorites found Okay, have shown that they contain completely unknown elements not found anywhere on Earth. Whatever these elements are, we believe they are causing tides to suddenly have a violent mind of their own. Incredible. This is why you must leave, sir. For all we know, these meteorite, meteorites, meteor, fuck me, in the, no. These meteorites may have released something fatal, contamination in the water. Why hasn't the Thames been buried off? Bar barrier, bar barrier, barrier, that's a tough word. Barrier, 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 <laughs> off. Why was I allowed here if all this has been going on? Somebody removed the barrier this morning. It had disappeared completely when we arrived. Was it you? That would be a criminal offense, you know. No way. When Vincent and I arrived, we walked straight in. Well, I really must ask you to leave for your own health. You may need to be tested by my colleagues on your way out for contamination. Tested? Of course. If you show signs of infection from the water, you will have to go into quarantine. Quarantine? In fact, that might be where your friend is now. Please go. My colleagues will talk to you more. Will will talk to you more about it. Sure, I was actually reading it right. I don't like the sound of this. First, Vincent is missing. Now I might be put into some sort of quarantine for a meteorite-related infection. What the fuck is going on? Thank you for the muffin, but please leave as quick as you can.